I'm here with David Lee. He is an official advisor, a member of the Monetary Policy Committee at the People's Bank of China. David, the question that everyone here at the World Economic Forum is asking, and the question everyone around the world is asking, is China doing enough to combat inflation? And if so, what is the impact going to be on economic growth? Well, I think the inflation right now in China is a very complicated uh, phenomenon. Why? Because it's unlike inflation in most countries, which is driven by demand, excessive demand. Today in China, inflation is driven by higher and higher production costs. In fact, our production capacity is still in surplus in comparison with demand. So therefore, the emphasis on fighting inflation should be on lowering enterprises' production costs to combat against uh, ever-increasing production costs. Okay, but the way that we've seen China do that for the most part is by raising bank reserve requirements and the occasional interest rate hike. We haven't seen much in the way of higher interest rates. Is that what we should be looking for into 2011? And if so, how high can they go? Well, the most action in fighting inflation actually is in the area of lowering production costs. So this being said, so we don't see. Are, are we not seeing that? Yeah. Well, it's, it's been going on. However, the price ca coverage is not being has not been on, in, on that area. On the issue of monetary policy, yes, indeed, the Chinese monetary policy is changing. It's changing from its relatively relatively proactive. In other words, lose monetary policy to relatively right, cautious one in two, two ways. Number one is to, is to control excessive liquidity by hiking up our deposit reserve ratio to now historical high, almost 20%. Mm -hmm. The other one is to gradually adjust uh, nominal interest rates. What impact is that going to have on the economy in 2011? What kind of a GDP growth rate is China going to end up with? Well, despite this changing monetary policy, I would forecast the GDP growth in 2011 will be 9.5%. Well, CPI, by my, by my forecast, will be something between 38 to 4%. Okay, people are waiting. You don't th do you think there's a risk of a hard landing in China? Do you think that the economy is going to rapidly ratchet down in terms of its growth rate, if not this year, perhaps next year? Uh, I don't think so, because what is going on in China is that the local governments are now very much motivated to go faster. Last time I checked, out of 31 provinces, only two provinces announced a target less than 8%, actually 8%. All of them are higher than 8%. Most of them are 9%, 11%, 12%. So the problem, the main pressure is to tell local governments and enterprises to slow down. David, one last question for you on the yuan. How much can the yuan appreciate before you begin to attract excessive hot money speculative inflows? Well, I would say that a combination of policies would be would be ideal. Number one is to grad, to have a gradual steady appreciation of five, maybe five to six, six percent a year. Meanwhile, try to control liquidity by still perhaps continue hiking the reserve ratio. Uh, what, about a, what, a ta what about a tax on uh, capital inflows? Is that coming? Well, that I don't think is coming, although as an economist, I think it makes, it may make sense. Okay, David, we have to run. Thank you so very much. David Lee, an advisor in official capacity to China's central bank.